Hi, I want to take a look today at one of my all-time favorite songs. Obviously, Classical Gas by Mason Williams, spectacular finger-picking piece. Uh, very difficult to play, so this is not a beginner's lesson, but I do want to talk a little bit about some of the things that go on in the beginning, and I'll have a much longer series of lessons at Totally Guitars all about this song and, and a lot of other stuff like it. So this one falls in the extreme guitarist category, but love this tune. Um, it, it opens up with a very kind of freeform, spacey instrumental that, uh, I mean, the whole thing's instrumental, but um, intro was the word I was looking for there. A little spacey intro that uh, I'll address more later on uh, in some of the other lessons, but um, the thing you're trying to do with that is set the stage for the, the, the big bang at the beginning of the song. So in the intro, you're trying to keep it mysterious. Pensive, thoughtful, all sorts of things. But I want to just talk a quick minute about the mechanics in the uh, in the first part. It's an A minor chord, and it sort of has an alternating bass thing go going on, but the bass is a little erratic. So, on the very first beat, you've got the C that is part of an A minor chord is off, and you pinch the open A in the bass with your thumb, and the open B string with your second finger, and hammer it onto C and pull it back off at the speed of a triplet. And right on the second beat, you hit that C again, and on the end of the second beat, to the A. So really slowly, that's... That was two beats. A triplet on beat one, and two eighth notes on beat two, going from the C to the A, the second string to the third string. The third beat is an open A in the bass again, followed by the C again, then the fourth beat is the bass on the fourth string, second fret, followed by an open B on the last and of the measure. The whole first measure, really slowly. Again, odd place to stop, but that's the end of the measure. The next measure has eight eighth notes in it, but split into groups of three. Two groups of three and a group of two. And for this, your fingers need to move from their home positions, which are your first, your index, middle, and ring fingers all on the first, second, and third strings. For the next measure, they move to the second, what I might call second position, the second set of strings. Your ring finger, not even going to use for now, but your index finger is going to go to the fourth string, and your middle finger is going to go to the third string. Then your thumb is going to be hitting a bass note on the sixth string. It hits the low G at the 3rd fret of the 6th string, followed by the open 4th string and the open 3rd string. The same pattern of 3 happens again with the F sharp in the bass, so the bass goes down to the 2nd fret. And so that was two sets of 3. And then a set of 2 hitting an open E, followed by an open D. So here are those two measures. Sorry, I had to, had to run through it in uh, like real time or something. Anyway, um, very extensive lessons on this song over at Totally Guitars. So come visit us at totallyguitars.com and uh, check into the free lesson section where I'll have a lot more information about classical gas and all kinds of other just uh, really cool finger-picking tunes, classic rock songs. Um, there's a spot where you can come to a, visit our forum and ask for songs that you might like to hear. But uh, that's, that's it for now. Hope to see you at Totally Guitars soon.